Welcome to iLecture Online and now we're going to find the bisector of an arc. Now actually the procedure is exactly the same as the bisector of a line segment. So there's an arc and I put it kind of on the side so you can see that it works in any which way. And you find the two points of the arc, point A and point B. So now you grab a pen and a compass and you go to one of the ends right there. Make sure you make your compass big enough so that it goes past the halfway point between A and B. So draw a line between A and B. You want to make sure that you go past that point right there. Then you come up here and you draw a small little arc. Then you come down here and you draw a small little arc right there. Then you keep the exact same length. You go to the other point, point B, and you draw a little line across. And so, whoa, they almost don't cross. You come over here, draw a little line. All right, there you go. So now you have two little arcs that cross one another. This one almost didn't cross, but you can still see it close enough. There's a point right there, and there's a point right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. If we now draw a line that connects those two points, like so, where the line crosses the arc, that's the bisector of the arc. So it takes the arc and splits it into two equal parts. So this line then becomes the bisector. It doesn't have to be perpendicular to the arc. It will be. It doesn't have to be but it still suffices. This is what's called the bisector of this arc. Again, you do it exactly the same as with the line segment. You take your pen, you put it through the loop, and then you go ahead and you draw a little arc going this way, and you put one end at the far end of the, of the arc, at the end point right there. You draw another little line this way. You use the very same length. You come to the other point. You draw a second line here. You draw a second line there where the two cross. You connect them, and that's then the bisector of your arc. And that's how it's done.